Twinkle Twinkle Little Hedgehog by David Kirk. Twinkle the Hedgehog liked to snuggle. When Nova created Twinkle, he borrowed circuits from a spaceship's docking system. So nuzzling close to others was in Twinkle's wiring. But there was a small problem, his spikes. They were long, needle-sharp, and there were lots of them. And that wasn't even the worst thing. When Nova built Twinkle, he figured that on a planet of metal robots, plain old everyday spikes would hardly do. So to make him all the hedgehog he could be, Nova charged his spikes with powerful electric shocks. Poor hedgehog. Twinkle wanted to get close to everybody, but nobody wanted to get close to Twinkle. He tried to curl up against Sparky Number 2 for a nice afternoon snooze, but instead sent him whining into the closet. He cozied up behind Cathode the cat and launched her into the top of a cupboard. Stuffed the turkey lost eleven tail feathers just brushing one of Twinkle's electric spikes with his toe. And Nova's mother, Luna, didn't appreciate it in the least when he pinned himself to the inside of her skirt. The harder Twinkle tried to be friendly, the more the other robots ran away. He took to laying in wait for his friends, dropping in on them when they least expected. That was fine as far as it went. Still, nobody ever stayed around to cuddle. The last straw was when he balled himself up in the bottom of Nova's dad, Tazpet's boot. Twinkle was put in a tiny cage. Now he had no hope of cuddling with anyone. He was miserable. He wouldn't touch his oil broth. He wouldn't take a fresh charge for his batteries, which were terribly low. If I have no charge, he thought, I can't shock anyone. Maybe then they'll like me. His batteries on zero, Twinkle fell into a deep sleep. Nova took the motionless hedgehog from his cage. There must be something he could do for poor Twinkle. But what? In the deepest of sleep, Twinkle dreamt of a robot animal, smooth and soothing, that his friends longed to touch. The little hedgehog was happy. He could feel his containment bubbling inside. Continent cuddling inside. He woke from his dream with everyone gathered around. Cathode the cat was nudging him with her nose. She didn't even jump when she touched him. Carefully clenching a spike between his teeth, Nova lifted Twinkle, and Sparky lifted Twinkle gently into Nova's hands. You still have a sting, Twinkle, Nova said, but only when you want one. I gave you full control of your shock amplifier. Try it. Nova set Twinkle down. Twinkle had only to think of electricity before bolts of electricity, of energy, sparked from spike to spike. Then he thought of his friends. And the sparking stopped. Twinkle never shocked anyone again. Except once in a while, accidentally, a few times when somebody was really asking for it. Or, on very special occasions, just for fun.